Hello, my friends. Uh, I would like to share something that really bothered me a few days ago as I sat and I listened to uh, a man of God share the nature of God that I am totally unfamiliar with. God's love is something that I think we don't really understand. God's nature is something that I think we don't really have a true sense of who he is, what he is, and then what he means to us. We have a father that has a nature of goodness. The scripture says that he is faithful and he's a true friend. The scripture says all good and perfect things come from above, from the father of lights, in whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. From the Old Testament, we see him as the balm of Gilead. From the Old Testament, we see him as the very rod that was raised that healed the people. From the Old Testament, we see him in Isaiah 53 as the one that came so that we might be made whole and made well. And we see the testimony in the New Testament of Jesus Christ having come, and Jesus Christ showing the nature of the Father by healing all who were sick and oppressed of the devil. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. You and I must realize, my friend, that the nature of God is not a nature described by man's experience, but it's a nature that God has already declared through his scriptures and through the demonstration of his power in the earth. I want us to get away from talking about how God puts sickness on us. He cannot put something on us that he has not had. God does not correct us through sickness and disease. We, when we step out from the shadow of God, you remember the 91st Psalm says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When we step out from the shadow of the Almighty, we make ourselves vulnerable to these things that the enemy has. God has no desire to put sickness on you. God loves you and cares for you. He has no need to correct you through sickness. He has no need to correct you through poverty. He has no need to correct you through calamity. Calamity comes because of our disobedience. You will notice that even in the book of Job, the third chapter, and I believe around the 21st or 25th verse, it says that Job said that which he feared came upon him. It was not God that put it on him, but it's that which he feared. The Lord always wanted Job to be twice as wealthy, twice as blessed. But Job himself opened himself up to fear to a variety of things that came into his life. Let us believe God for the nature that he is. He is a good God. He is a God that heals and a God that restores. He is a God that is able to keep. I do not serve a God that cannot keep me well. I do not serve a God that cannot keep me whole. I truly serve a God that is more than enough to provide for me, more than enough to satisfy my financial need, more than enough to satisfy my physical needs, more than enough to satisfy my health needs. Change your mind today and think of this God as one that protects and preserves. There is one other thing that I should mention before I end um, today, and that is this, that the scripture says that the word of God is profitable for doctrine, that it is profitable for instruction, it is profitable for, in, not only instruction, but for correction. It is the word of God that corrects. It is not sickness that corrects. Which one of you as a mother or a father would slap cancer on your child? Which one of you as a mother or father would break the leg of your child? Which one of you would put some of these serious diseases upon your child because you wanted to teach them a lesson? I don't think any of us in our right mind would conceive of doing those things. Why do you think that Jehovah, the loving God that we serve, would do such a thing to us? He doesn't kill because we love him. Uh, he doesn't destroy because we love him. When we step out from under his covering, then we become vulnerable to the enemy's onslaught and to the enemy's weapons. Stay under the shadow of God and truly be blessed today. In Jesus' name, amen.